is the river center. Let me not make y'all dizzy. But look, up there is the Tower of the Americas. So that's where we're located. Let's see about flipping the camera. Excited, finally, finally, dude. Wow. Favorite part of San Antonio is the river walk, obviously. Look at this, so pretty. right here. There's an amount right there. up here but you can't really see them yet but they will be on i'll try and get those for you Okay guys, so there's going to be some silence here because they were blaring music. They were just blasting music and it was really nice, but this is one of my favorite restaurants on the Riverwalk and I remember looking at this while it was being constructed because I thought, man, now I don't have to go to Florida, right? <laughs> I don't have to go all the way to Florida to enjoy this restaurant. Yay! So I was super excited when they did this one and they did Bubba Gump as well, which is later on in one of these videos because I did like three videos for you guys. But yeah, of course, those are the COVID, you know, guidelines before. Basically wear your mask, except when you're eating or drinking something. So I don't know. I don't know. And here's Hooters right next to Margaritaville. Very nice. I like that they have the, the little outdoor setup and you'll see right now but off to the right is going to be the river walk and that is the river center mall so really nice um, they did have santa claus here the grinch was here 
and uh, of course they have that giant Christmas tree right on the river walk really really like that such a beautiful view too you can see the people with the boats and there's more seating downstairs um, they had a bunch of tables here but they did remove them because of the you know what but this was all full of tables so hopefully that comes back pretty soon right and then here's where people sit on those stairs. They stand here for the most part and listen to music. There was definitely music playing. There's a lot of vendors that come out here and they do play music too. So it's pretty neat. Pretty nice. And that's the mall right there. So love it. Many years ago, yes, I used to work at the River Center. I will never forget. At Dillard's. I don't know if you guys have heard my story. <laughs> All right. So then we walked in immediately to the Disney store. Of course, I pick up Princess Tiana because I've been looking for her. So my little girl loves her and uh, my granddaughter had ended up ruining the other one's hair. So I'm um, looking for a new one, but I did see a lot of the beautiful, look at Princess Jasmine. Had a lot of the dolls. They were on sale for $12. Um, this was this past Saturday, so I don't know when that ends. Might wanna check before going down there okay but they did have a lot of the outfits and i think these were nine the dolls were 12 and um the outfits were nine so beautiful look at merida i think it's merida no it's not actually i don't know who that is um that's the one that i was asking my daughter about Okay, everybody, so here they had the Star Wars section. I get so excited when I see the Star Wars because I know that the Mandalorian, the child, right, is here somewhere. So I'm so excited to see this little baby. Anyway, uh, it's a thing, but did you see the little Coco figurine set? Yeah, my husband and I have been so into the Coco ones lately. And, um, and they do have so many cute gift sets, like the Disney princess, saw that? Like the princess, yeah, I saw the Mandalorian over there, saw him, or the child. Um, look at him, little baby Yoda. But look, he was $69.99, had the remote control, and it came with that little, I don't know what, the, okay, wait, there's a coffee cup here. Yeah, I know, I know, it was so cute. And um, like I was saying, it had the, a uh, little charm thing you'll see it right now but I thought this cup was really a nice touch right they had it right in the perfect place but see it that comes with it I can't remember what this is called this little thing yeah right there so I don't know it's a cute gift and of course I've been wanting that Mickey and Minnie skirt for the tree and I'm surprised they have a bunch of them so I'm looking forward to them putting those on sale I'm going to keep an eye on those. Yep. Be sure and uh, follow my Instagram so that I can post in the stories when that goes on sale because I don't want you to miss it. Okay. They did have a lot of the ornaments, the sketchbook ornaments for $12, you guys. So instead of $24, okay, I'm going to link my other video up here somewhere. But instead of $24, like I saw in the other video a while back, I think it was before Halloween, they're $12 right now. Don't miss out. Look, even Jack is here. And I saw a lot of this little Christmas cookies, a gingerbread cookie, so cute. So I ended up buying this one, of course. I was sad that Sally wasn't here, but hey, I waited, right? So I'm gonna need to go to a different Disney store and see if they have Jack and Sally together. Cause I think that in my original video, I had shown uh, Jack and Sally together, okay? And they had the cute little kitty from this, the new Soul movie. So excited for that one. I can't wait to see it, right? I can't wait to go to the theater and see it like a normal person. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ah, oh, they had these cute sweaters too in different sizes with the lights. So pretty. So pretty. And I think they were $60. I don't know if you saw that. But yeah, of course, I'm eyeing the skirt again. But I did buy a Jack and Sally tree skirt. I know. Yeah, that's going to be for next year's tree. So, I look at the Sleeping Beauty book. Isn't this beautiful? You know, at first I thought it was a book book, but it turns out to be a journal with lines, right? It has pages with lines on it so you can keep a journal. 
Look at some of these pins. So pretty. So pretty. They had like, of course, a lot of good stuff as usual, right? Ah, hadn't been here in a while. And of course they have the Disney Rubik's Cube. For all us Disney lovers, right? We gotta have this one. I'm probably not gonna wanna like use it, but yeah, it is so cute. I saw this last time. I think they had just, you know, rearranged it. But last time I was here on Halloween, they had that little wreath, right, from Jack. They have a little bomber jacket there. Oh, look at these pins. I know. I don't think I've seen pins in locally here in the Disney store. I know they're in Florida, but I haven't. <laughs> look at these naughty girls. <laughs> the villains, right? Here's Jack again. And yeah, the sweater was kind of like a faded looking sweatshirt. I don't know. Supposedly it came with a mask, right? And here's a little gingerbread cookie again. Stuffed animal, so cute. Soft too, a little plush. Very nice. And they had so many Christmas outfits for babies. It was so cute, right? I love that one. Look at that. So soft, so cute to wake up in, right? Before you open your gifts, I would say, or if you're going to grandma's house, but I don't know, right, this year. Hmm. We'll see. Well, what do y'all think? These little uh, cups were $10. They were $9.99. So cute. Look at the Mickey one. My grandson loves Mickey Mouse. Loves, loves, love him. And here's Ariel. My husband was just pointing to it. He's like, hello, hello. <laughs> so pretty. Look at her. That one's cute. Yep, $9.99. Very nice. Yes, yeah, so I had so much fun looking at all of these. Look at all this stuff. And these are the super, I mean, these are the softest plush. I feel like these are for babies, right? But they're so cute. I just love the way the Mickey and Minnie's are. Like they're sleeping, right? It really reminds me like for a little baby or a nursery or something. They're just perfect. I love them. And here's Stitch. Always cute. What do y'all think so far? Leave me a comment below. Oh my God, I have to buy this little dog. Remember him from Up? I need him. Anyway, um, leave me a comment below which item was your favorite. If you liked one thing from here, please leave me a comment below. I know it's crazy in the Disney store, so everybody wants everything. I mean, I do. I mean, I want all the stuffed animals. It's so hard. Look, here's another thing, right? The mermaid. It's my little girl's favorite princess. She likes this one. Uh, she like loves Rapunzel and also Cinderella. Like those are her top three, I think. Look at this. This mug, you guys, breakable. <laughs> really put it down. But yeah, they had some beautiful ones. Look at the quality on this. The pictures are so pretty with Snow White, of course, the Evil Queen, right? And then the mirror, remember? Who's the fairest of them all? And then, of course, we have Mrs. T. What was her name? Mrs. Teapots? Mrs. Potts? So cute. I mean, I want both of those things. But do you see what I mean? There's like so... Oh, yeah, the cake stand. My, I was like, please don't touch that. <laughs> the thing is that they had everything so close together, right? And those mugs, even though I wanted to film them, they were like super high. Like way high. But I did reach that one. Such a cute little puppy. I think the cup was $20, though, if I'm not mistaken, like $19.99. But I really want it. Really want it. And here's Pluto. So adorable. But you see how it's $19.99? They're pretty much the same. Some are 16, some are 19, right? They're all beautiful, though. But it's hard to collect, like, you know, three or four at once. I don't know. They had this little thing here by the mirror. So it's cute. So pretty. And then, of course, the masks, right? We ended up buying some of the masks. I'm going to show you guys. 
Um, only thing is they didn't have Little Mermaid, right? What do y'all think so far? Look at this beautiful Cinderella. Beautiful. Look at her carriage. So nice, right? Loved it. It had it right there by the line for the register course. And then they had these beautiful, like little totes, right? Little mini backpacks. These are so cute. Love the designs. I think that's Mulan, right? So beautiful. It's kind of like the ones you'd find at the Disney parks, right? Very nice. Fantasia, Lilo. The pins were here too, as you're in line, right? Of course. Up. So pretty. Now we need the poo. There's three pins, so it's a good deal. So I really loved the pins. Very different, like I said, right? I don't think I've ever seen the pins. Maybe I've just been missing them, y'all. But they're so cute, right? Like just more stuff to collect, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. But so many gifts that were here, stocking stuffers. I love that they had the Little Mermaid look with the flower in her hair. It's too bad that they didn't have a long nightgown because my daughter is 12 and she needs that long nightgown. She's a little bit taller. However, the Disney, you guys can let me know, okay, because the Disney store employee said that the biggest size they make in these nightgowns for girls is 9'10". So I was like, oh no. Well, I at least need a 12'14". That's her size. But anyway, I was hoping to get it before Christmas, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. But they did have all these dolls that I definitely want to collect. There's a the little mermaid nightgown. See, I would have at least settled for that one. You see it? But not long enough, okay? And she can definitely fit in there. But I just want a long nightgown, you know. And they had some cute ones that look princess-like. So that would have been nice, right? Just kind of make a little girl feel like a princess when she's going to bed, right? Yeah, well, anyway, let me know if you know or if you live in Orlando and you know about the Disney theme parks where they have the nightgowns like that. Um, and I will definitely order them. Of course I will. I, I'm interested even if it's after Christmas, okay? Please. All right, and you can message me on my social media platforms or you can comment on this video. Thank you so much also in advance. But um, yeah, they had all kinds of dolls and so many gifts. Look at these. These were $13, right? And I love the little, like, I don't know. These were like little castles, but they had little toys at the top. Here's the mermaid again, of course, right? In her castle thing right the underwater that was Anna and Elsa so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did find some value please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe okay I look forward to filming part two not filming but uploading I'm going to be uploading it today and uh, so you guys can see it okay because I had to do three videos of the store and the river walk so you're going to love it there's a mermaid right there saw her beautiful too bad about the sizes but hey i hope you all can enjoy that don't wait too too long right because then you can't find the size okay but i wish you guys a wonderful christmas look at this it's light up beautiful beautiful these are pretty anna and elsa so i wish you all a wonderful christmas for you and your family and i'll see you all in the next video